really lose so much weight. It can come against you, you know, if you put so much weight on top in 24 hours. You know what? I, I'm not a big fan of cutting too much weight, bro. A lot of these guys are cutting, like, 20-plus pounds uh, to compete, you know, fight. I, I'm not a big fan of it. I have a strong belief you stay close to your weight class. I have the, uh, the opportunity to train a little bit to fight Davion Anderson. This guy is a machine. He can get submission from anywhere at any time. He cannot blink. What a very down. explosive. That's amazing taking that. You can see the explosiveness. He's really sharp right now. ADCC is just around the corner, by the way. In two weeks to come. So they all well trained. That's for that. All divisions are stacked. This is going to be one of the best ADCCs ever. Yeah, that's what he's known for. Very explosive towards the submissions, but at the same time, very well-rounded with him. He's not one of those guys that has just a good arm bar or just a good full lock. He's very complete. And that's how uh, I, I really like this one-minute start mark because you see that if you are very good in wrestling, wrestling you, have a, chance it, you have a chance to use it. Yeah, I think one of the, the, the wrestlers or stand-up uh, takedown artists' biggest frustrations in jiu-jitsu is that they often don't even get a chance to spill their skills because their opponent just pulls That's a right very right. good attempt nice. on the pass in the leg drag. He's going to go to the back. Is he going to get it? He's got a pass. He's going to pass. What a defense by Juan Carvalho. Wow. Is he going to jump to the back right now? Wow. What a defense by Juan Carvalho. Is he going to get it? Nice. Scramble there by Dabu Ramos. Is that going to be a two points, right? Yeah. I should be. Should be. See what that referee says. Is he out of bounds? Out of bounds. The thing is, if he, he goes out of bounds before the referee says stop, it could be different. But I think they went out of bounds after. After. That's a good point. Both fighters studying each other. That was a very surprising right reaction. Now they're pretty much just breathing, catching their breath. That was intense. That was intense. Davi wasn't expecting that. See Luan looking at the clock. Yeah, we're definitely going to... We tend to see a lot more wrestling uh, takedowns in general when, when we're watching uh, no-gi matches. This one-minute rule on the guard pole really... That emphasizing that during the uh, rules meeting really changed everything because now everyone's feeling like they're forced to stand up a little bit more. By the way, that was a hell of a takedown from Davi Ramos. I would like to see that on replay. He wasn't even the end, he was just so fast. He closed that distance so quickly. We're going to see if we can get this take down the replay. Nice attempt. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go. First round, Darby Ramos winning by two points. One now pulling guard after the grip. I would want to be extending that arm too much. Everyone exactly. saw that, that video of Lucas Lepre and Davi. I actually had Lucas that, that fight now. It's it was crazy. insane. Like Lucas Lepre, he's so fast. You wouldn't expect he's being I could say that would be like pound for pound. He's, he's, so he's a great like, go around it. Wow. You know, it's just such a beast on top of the It's four times world champion IBJJF. But ADC was just, it was so sneaky, man. Like, what are you doing? How do you stop that? The thing is, you have just one split second to react. If you don't expect something and go on, it's too late. And that's, that's uh, uh, the beauty of having guys like Davi Ramos being so well-rounded, is that they take this everywhere. We have also Kira Gracie on, the, on, on our show watching. Kira, one of the icons of... Uh, our jiu-jitsu for the for, for the women it changed completely the the view of the our girls on competing you know she was the lead she, the first gracie uh, to win our world championships as a black belt she was a uh, very uh, important to the growth of uh, the the girl jiu-jitsu in our world huh yeah, 
Like I remember when I started training, like very maybe you have one or two women on the mats, and that was about it. But like in my gym, like we have a women's class. It's not a new. <laughs> We'll see this song, one car goes for it, put it on it. Yeah, I, I think after that takedowns, exchanges, and sweeps, I think uh, it, it got a little on Davi Hamas cardio, and then I think he saw, you know what, the fight's not gonna end up here. I wanna get a little bit of my gas back. There will be another two rounds, I think he's and then I'm winning this, you know this one. I may just wanna conserve my energy and just be more conservative throughout the rest of the match. Um, but yeah, like uh, Luhari is doing a great job. At 20 seconds left in the first round. So this far, will be a 10-9 round for Davi Hamas. So far, we have uh, under 75 kilograms. The first um, same finals already done with Marcio Andre and Rodrigo Caporal. Okay, Rodrigo Caporal, that's uh, part of the team, Storm team. You know, TR1 is with together with Edwin yeah. and also Claudio Calazans. So a big shout out to the guys. First round's gone. Davi Ramos winning the first round, 10-9. Very good start. Attempt by David Ramos, well defended by Luan. Luan is already expecting that rush on the first yeah. minute from David Ramos because that's when he cannot jump guard. So he's completely vulnerable for that, uh, that part of the David Ramos that's much stronger than him, right? After yes. one minute, he could just jump guard, but now he can't. So he's really worried about that. Yeah, extra shot, absolutely. That guy's that fast. Like you have to be, you can't, like, you know, you have to be like, so focused. Because Davi Ramos understands his time to score those two points. Nice, nice. Watch out! My oh. goodness, my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> See, Luan got a little upset. Luan got there. really upset of that one. But, uh, well, Davi, he didn't throw it. He didn't go through it. Yeah. He could have, but he actually respected when the guys slide out the room. Mark right now. Let's see if someone pulls guard. No. You see the Novo Neon guys chanting. It's an old Novo Neon chant. Did he just give the V Robles a, a penalty? Did he give a uh, one as well? I think it was just a V. What an answer from the takedown. Nice Very take well down. Down. Wow. Is he going to take it to. Ah, he's yeah, not there yet. He's not there yet. He's not. Still in there. What a wrestling by Davi. Wow. So aggressive. Davi is on fire. He's on fire. And one. What a defense of that takedown. He didn't go down for three seconds at all. I guess the two girls uh, minus one from both. The, the crowd goes, goes crazy, yes, and Luan goes. has a big crowd behind him. Usually, the underdogs are all well supported here in Brazil. Luan well, well. has a huge following in the Rio. One of the most traditional teams, and not only the in Rio but the world. Did you know I used to be in Rio? Sorry? Did you know I used to be in Rio? You have? Yes. Well, because normally you know we start then came Braza, and that was no, no, super it was, divided. It was no, when I was living in Las Vegas as a teenager, I used to train with John Lewis. And Steve De Silva and Gustavo Dantas were all on the under Pedernaris. But uh, Nobody in Europe came from from Carson Gracie. Carson Gracie, I think generally, originally right? under Pedernaris was a Carson Gracie. Right. Yeah. Andre Pedernaris has a, such a select group of fighters. The best coach in the history of Jiu Jitsu. He's amazing. He was elected the best coach of the year 2015. Yeah. Both Jiu Jitsu and MMA. Exactly. He's, amazing. He's a good coach. And his fighters all love him, so it's a sign that he not only speaks fighters so he's, well. He's a, he's a good person as well. You don't get that many people to like him unless you're a good person. Nice takedown by Davi. I'm, I'm very impressed by Luan's takedown defense. 
honestly, is being one of the best so far. Very similar builds to the both built like stocky, short, stocky, you know, good built for wrestling. Approaching the end of round two. The one with the guard pole. Definitely, Davi has been more offensive on the on the game. Absolutely, uh, Luan defending uh, amazingly. It's been impressive, is that you know exactly the Luan's defense has been so, so great. Other than that first takedown, like uh, Davi, despite all the attempts, has not been able to do anything to Luan. He's just been able to scramble back up. Every time. Luan's a very strong seventy-five weight division guy, and then he looks. Small in comparison to, to Davi. Yeah. But Davi's probably used to that wake up from fight MMA. The guys, the MMA crowd tends to put a lot of weight, which I'm not crazy about, but hey, whatever works for you. I, was, I remember speaking to him in the morning before the weigh in. He was three kilograms <laughs> over. Wow. It's crazy how those guys can do that. that. That was when I did my MMA debut. That was one of the things that I really dread the most it was the way fighting the day it was the best thing ever but the weight cutting it was it was brutal <laughs> i used to cut in the sauna with snowboarding gear on oh and that God. was that was torture right there did you and do the, the, too, so. the bath the, the bath, bath is so much easier yeah i did but, the bath yeah the bath is like, because you can breathe at least but in the sauna it's like it's not only hard on your body it's just it's hard to breathe because it's just hot air and you know because i have claustrophobia that's that's it's not fun at all i wonder how that uh, uh, with the steam lock the steam lock there 20, 10 seconds to go. It's a draw, the second fight so far. Of course, with Davi is being much more offensive, but no much submission attempt apart from this steam a lot. One minute break for all Very the fighters. Very close second round. Although the V had most of the attempts. You know, the V is definitely the aggressor. Luan's defense is just a lot better than, you know, I, I think that the V and Ramos uh, anticipated. He's got his hands full though, Chago Bro is no joke, man. Chago Bro is a monster on top. We'll be interested to see if uh, Edwin will pull guard or just stand up with him. I know he's very comfortable on his feet. He's got killer triangles. It's going to be definitely an interesting match. We already have one semifinal set, which is Masio Andre against Rodrigo Caporal, which is going to be coming after the first round of the under 85s Czech Grand Prix. Guys, you are watching the ACBJJ Real number seven, first time on the mecca of the Jiu Jitsu. We're here, me, Brother Stima, and my good friend Robert Drysdale. Pleasure to be here. It's awesome. I really was looking forward to bring the ACB for to Real. You know, that's the cool thing about ACB is that they bounce all over the place. It's a, it really is a global event in the sense that every event has been in different countries so far. Correct. The next event will be in Dak, no, uh, in Qatar on the last weekend of October. I did not know that. Yeah, it's going to be that's awesome. Good news. I yeah. Qatar is an amazing country that's been so well developed for the last few years. You know, I'm excited. I've been there once, but now it's completely changed already. It's like Abu Dhabi in Dubai. Yes. They change every six months. Wow. Very good nice pressure double pass. He's going to take the back. Pass. Nice Luan. double pass. Good shot by Good defense Davi. by Luan. Wow. Good scramble. What a scramble. That was crazy. Three minutes, 30 seconds left. Look at this replay. Look at that pressure nice. pass by Double underpass. Wow. And then Luan is trying to get Luan to go to his knees. Can you see, see the hand on Luan? He's stopping the pass. He's trying to don't let him turn. See, and like, he and what he really wants is the back. Wow. And he's so quick, but Luan, like, never, like, he freed his hips right away. That was crazy. Just moved his butt up. Amazing. Perfect timing. Awesome. That's like uh, after that like scramble, of course, you're going to see some of. There's something going wrong there with Luan. He's checking it out. Maybe the finger went out. 
Yeah, that was an intense scramble, so anything could have happened. I'm very impressed by Luan's defensive in all rounded. His defense is really good. I, exactly. I mean, a guy like Davi Hamos, man, if you've survived this far, your defense is good. No way out of it. Ooh, I poke. Yeah, the one's got three minutes and ten seconds to do something here. He's still defending himself a lot. Uh, but Davi Ramos, even though he's winning, he's being very aggressive. That's why he's so exciting to watch. It doesn't matter what the score is, you know he's going forward. He came to fight. He wants to show, he wants to, he wants to get the, the bonus of the best fight. Exactly. Not only that, he, I think he has that reputation for being explosive and he's a finisher. And, he, you know, he wants to do, he wants to make sure that he keeps that reputation. And don't forget all the bonus that you get, right? It's like you, if you get the best fight of the night, you get five grand. It's not bad, okay? It's not bad at all. You can do a barbecue with that. <laughs> we have a bonus for the best fight for both fighters, the best submission, and the fastest submission. So far, no submission at all. So, uh, plenty of matches for the first to go. Wait, this is only the third match? Yeah. Yes, yeah, only the third match. Next, we have Edwin Najimi and Thiago Abreu from the Czech map. Najimi representing Gracie Baja from Honol Bajau School. And Thiago Abreu. I was expecting to see Gabriel Arges. Yeah, he's not in the division. Uh, Gabriel Arges, I think he pulled out before uh, because he wasn't... He got injured for on, on, on his knee, so he's... Uh, he decided not to compete. Nice, you can see that jump. He was there. Wow. I think Luan is just so sharp on it. I'd like to see the replay for that. Here we go. Replay. Very good attempt of the double legs from knees and a guillotine attempt. Very tight. Here we go. Reshoot. Whoa, almost and that, the that, same that, that technique exactly, we got there. The highlight of Luan was really ready for that. He was expecting that. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sure anybody from now will never stay sat when um, Davi Hum was in front of you. Uh, you know what? I'd probably go like a T Rex training with that guy. I'm going to keep my elbows in the whole time. One minute to go, third round. That was a uh, that was a guillotine attempt right there. For the, for the guillotine. It's the last minute, final round. Davi has one round, round, right? Yes, yeah, first, round. first. Second round was a draw, but Davi still on with the aggression. Luan with the guard pull. Let's see if he can pull something off. He's got 35 seconds to do something. He's really got to uh, hurry up. He needs at least two points to win this round and go decision. Ideally, a submission. You can see the V is not a conservative fighter in any way. He, can, he just attacks, attacks, attacks. Most guys are probably saving their energy towards the end of the round. He knows he's got this if he's just conservative, but he's not one of those guys. But Luan again with the defense. Wow, very impressive defense from Luan. Davi obviously the favorite in this fight, but Luan did an incredible job. It was a lot closer than a lot of people expected. Your winner is, by points, Davi 